Hello, my friends, viewers, and followers. I'm glad you tuned back in. Um, this video is going to be very interesting because today I'm going to explain how one is going to pray the rosary. And I have to admit that in English, it's for me a learning experience as well. I have prayed the rosary before in English, but I'm not. Uh, English is not my prayer language. If you want to say it like that, it is German. So I'm used to saying all the German ways of saying the rosary and I can say it by heart without looking it up. But in English, it's much harder for me because I'm, I know what's coming, but I don't know all the words uh, as fluently and especially if I get nervous. And I do get a little nervous when I do videos then I will have to be more glued to the uh, paper when we're going to pray together. So keep that in mind. And I also have, I will tell you why uh, the rosary in English is prayed a little bit different than it is in German. And I will teach you the German way how to pray it because I find it very helpful. I tried it, the English version. And I tell you later on in the video why I decided to teach you the German version, which is in one way a little bit easier, even though it takes just a little bit longer. So let's get right into it. How we got to pray the rosary. So this is a rosary and when you buy one and make sure that it's a real rosary because, um, some rosaries, yes, they're not real rosaries. They look like one, but they're not. So you have to have the cross on the bottom, one pearl, three pearls, one pearl, and then each decade is 10 pearls long. If there's, for example, um, there are rosaries with seven pearls, that's the sorrowful mysteries. So um, um, the sorrowful mysteries, the seven sorrows of the mother, so this is a totally different um, rosary with different rosary beads. The one you need, if you need any, is with 10 pearls and one pearl in between. And you have one, two, three, four, five strands with each 10 beads. So um, no worry if you don't have a rosary and or you don't even plan on, you know, uh, buying one, then you can still pray the rosary with me with a video. Um, then you just don't, don't have anything in your hands, but you can still meditate, meditatively, meditatively uh, pray with me and uh, enjoy the prayer without the beads. But I do recommend the beads. It is very helpful for you to stay on track. You know what's going to come next. And it's so comforting to have something in your hand and really truly getting all of your senses going. So the touch, the feel, and really going into the uh, prayer. So um, if you go on the internet, you will find, if you Google the rosary prayer, how to pray it, you can look it up. You will find things like this. I hope you can see it. And there explains again on what bead you pray what. I'm gonna go through it and in the bottom description box, I'm gonna have the prayers. I'm actually gonna type them up for you, all the prayers like the Creed, the Hail Mary, um, the uh, Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, the Fatima Prayer that we're gonna pray and the mysteries. So you ha will have it all in the description box and it's really learning by doing. I will explain to you just briefly how we're going to do this and then it's really about diving into the other video where I teach you actually to practically do it and it makes a lot more sense when you do it, sort of learning by doing. So just so I don't forget anything. So here you make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
in you say the Apostles' Creed. What you believe in, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and so on. Don't test me on that. <laughs> I am still a little bit shaky in German, as I say. I can do it without sweat. Then, uh, you are, you say three Hail Marys on these. And they stand for different things. So here on the first beat, you pray for faith. Uh, here you pray for hope. Here in English, in the English version, you pray for charity. While in the German version, you actually pray for uh, a kindling of the fire of your heart. So you can choose. Uh, and then here we make the sign of the cross again, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And make sure it's really cross of the sign, really nicely done and not something, you know, <laughs> pointed, but truly making the sign of the cross. And then um, we say the Fatima prayer, which is the prayer, the, the lady appeared in Fatima. It's the queen of heaven, the uh, mother of all nations. So um, she gave us a prayer to pray to help the whole world and to help all the souls. And then uh, we say uh, in our father again, and then we go into the mysteries. Now in the English version, um, there is either a meditative reflection before you pray the Hail Marys through, 10 Hail Marys here, or um, in a shorter version, the secret or what you're going to meditate on is just mentioned. So in one sentence, for example, um, you meditate on the, uh, you know, that Jesus is born in Bethlehem. So, and then you say 10 Hail Marys. Well, um, I found that in the shorter version that I have done in the English, that um, our mind works is sometimes really scattered. So we tune in and out. And um, most people at least, including me, are not 100% focused 100% of the time. Uh, your mind starts wandering off and then you're like, oh, 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 got to come back again. And then you're back at praying. But... Um, if the mystery is only said in one sentence and you missed it because your mind just went off somewhere, then you say the Hail Marys and don't even know what you're meditating on. This is what I have found in the English version. This is why um, we do it the German way. I will give you a reflective text before we go into the 10 beads of Hail Marys, but we're going to say the mystery and i give it to you before we pray it each one we, we mention the mystery so you remember each time you say out loud the mystery that you're meditating on so i have made a list because i of course i had to translate it myself uh the mystery so instead of just saying hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary Mother of God, pray for us now and be at the hour of our death. We actually gonna say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Then we mention the mystery and then we say, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And this is what I mean. I like, I don't know the prayer in my heart in English, in German. If you want to know how it sounds in German is. Gegrüßet seist du Maria, voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres not gonna do it any, <laughs> just wanted to show you. So uh, we go through all 10 beads, saying the Hail Mary and the mystery, and I'm telling you, it sounds so complicated. It is not that complicated. It's actually pretty meditative. Then we come to the um, separate bead here. There's one in between. 
and here we do the sign of the cross again in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Then we say the Fatima prayer again. And again, I have that in the description box below this video. And then we're going to say uh, the Lord's Prayer again before I will read a meditative text. And then we're going to um, meditate on that mystery, on that scriptural text um, and pray the next decade. And then it's just the same thing again. You pray through this uh, mystery, then you say, um, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Fatima prayer, Lord's prayer, next mystery, and then you, you keep on praying. So this is all the way around until you come all the way and you close with the last uh, secret. Then um, we say in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, again the Fatima prayer, again a Lord's prayer, and then I always end with a prayer of the mother of Amsterdam because she said it's really important to pray this prayer uh, for all nations and for because she's the mother of all nations she wants to be the mother of she said that in in um, Akita uh, which is a continuation of the um, apparitions in Amsterdam. She said that she wants to be the mother of all nations, all religions, all people, all cultures. So we pray that prayer as a closing. So we have uh, four different rosaries that reflect on different themes of Jesus' life. And as I say, it's all biblically. biblical. <laughs> And if you haven't watched uh, the other videos that I have prior to this video, because this video is really, um, it leads, all the other videos lead up to this, where I teach you actually to pray the rosary in preparation. So I'm answering in other videos um, questions like, well, are we worshiping Mary in this prayer? Um, is it just uh, vain repetition? Um, explaining a little bit about uh, the mother, Mary and the mother, and the distinction even, and things like that. So uh, I want you to watch the other videos prior to this. Uh, it's going to be very helpful and I give helpful tips as well on what to concentrate when you're meditating and praying. So we're going to do it the German way and as I say, um, English is not my prayer language. I pray with my children, I pray by myself, and so um, I'm just so used to praying in German. I hope this was interesting to you and you're going to be looking forward to tomorrow's video where we actually going to start praying the rosary together. God bless you. I see you tomorrow.